the textile industry consumes a lot of energy, and especially in heating, ventilating, and air conditioning, especially ventilation. Um, I grew up uh, in the southeast United States, and three generations before me, we either worked on a cotton farm, growing cotton, or my parents and my grandparents worked in the cotton mills. And that's exactly what they planned for me to do, right? And I understood from the earliest age, walking around um, a textile plant, uh, the importance of ventilation, the importance of thermal comfort, and especially the the uh, importance of controlling particulates in the air, especially in the cotton industry, the fabric industry, uh, the rubber industry, tire manufacturing, and those things. So this couldn't be a more appropriate topic. Um, we tend to focus on commercial buildings, but our industrial sector and the needs for heating, ventilating, and air conditioning are almost as great in that industry as they are in the commercial business. I think just uh, from having been to this conference before and, and now, the number of products being manufactured, the number of products being represented in this market are tremendous. And it's an indication of the collaboration and the innovation that's going on and what is needed to grow this industry for the next 26 years as we triple the demand for HVAC in, in Pakistan. ASHRAE is 130 years old. It's formed a 1894, so we've got what we do is research, uh, we do education, we do training, we do publications. And so built into that 130 years is the knowledge of literally millions of practitioners in this industry. So that's what ASHRAE brings to the industry. Uh, we're currently at about 54,000 members worldwide. Uh, we just chartered our 200th chapter in the Nordic chapter. We, ha uh, we are in 132 countries and we are now 16 regions. So uh, we, we cover the globe and we're here to support anyone and anybody working in the HVAC in our industry, whether it's a researcher, a design practitioner, a contractor, a technician, or a manufacturer in this business. That's the strength we bring to the industry. My vision for the year is empowering our workforce and building a sustainable future. Uh, I was just having a conversation, a long conversation with a gentleman there on the trade show floor about the importance of getting young people into this industry and, and getting young people into engineering. Right now, the engineering, as we heard yesterday at NED University, the uh, applications for young people coming into engineering are dropping. That trend is happening worldwide. Uh, one of the reasons is we're going to triple the size of this industry in the next 26 years. Three times the size. We need almost three times the people. However, our population isn't growing that fast. So every industry on the planet uh, is seeking the same group of employment candidates. And I have maintained as part of my initiative this year as empowering our workforce that we need to begin talking about our industry in a different way. Let's talk more to the young people, not about the technical aspects of, a, of, of building an air handler or installing a ductwork or sizing a, a grill or an air distribution device. Let's talk to them about the HVAC industry contributes 40% to the carbon emissions in the world. It, it consumes 28% of the total energy consumption in the world. And by working in this industry, you can have an impact, you can find purpose, and you can have passion, and you can also have a career that is family sustaining and upwardly mobile. All right, so make the industry sound more attractive and talk to more people about it. The other thing is the industry has a place for anybody in any discipline whether it's mechanical engineering, finance, physics, chemistry, there's a need for you, material science, there's a need for you in HVAC, and there's a need for you in ASHRAE to continue to grow that 130 year knowledge base so we can upgrade the standards, upgrade the handbooks, and give the next generation the very best technology available to us right now so they can continue to improve, innovate, and make our industry better in the next 26 years.